In the last video, we introduced the group properties of addition for the integers, which included closure, associativity, there being an identity element in the integers, that's zero for addition, and then also that it's closed under inverses, meaning that if you pick any element, then there is some other element such that you can add them together and get zero. A quick example, by the way, for this is like one and negative one. You add them together and you get zero, so they're inverses of each other. Also, the inverse of, say, negative seven is seven, because again, if you add them together, you get zero. Now, it's going to turn out that a lot of the things that we're interested in have basically these properties, and so we want to take this notion and abstract it into the idea of an abstract group. So to do that, we're going to have any set G that is non-empty. Here, that was the integers. It must have an operation. Being an operation means you input two elements from G and you output an element from G. So that was the plus operation up here. And if this operation is associative, has an identity element, and is closed under inverses, then we call this a group.